I just want to start off by saying that I am very excited for this project, this class, and the potential that both have to teach me more about myself, more about the different personalities that exist in a workplace, and how people that perhaps have different skills and outlooks on life can work in harmony. For activities six and seven, we evaluated our personality types, strengths, and weaknesses through several surveys and inventories online. These taught me a lot of things about myself and explained much about why I act and do so many of the things that I do. Through the locus of control, Machiavellianism, self-monitoring, type A personality test, Myers-Briggs typology, and the team personal style inventory, which is also called the Big Five or TPSI, helped me to realize a few things about who I am and how I act on the team that I am a part of. Because the results of these tests were so thorough, I'd like only to focus on two of the major ones that really piqued my interest and can be of use for group project. First off, the result of the TPSI test shed a great deal of light on what type of person I am and how I might react in adverse situations. Secondly, I would like to talk about the results of the personality test and explain to you why my leaning toward a type B personality will benefit the team. The result for my TPSI or Big Five proves several things about my personality. First of all, my highest categories are a tie between openness to experience and agreeableness, both with 4.2. A high score in agreeableness means that I have to be liked. In a team setting, that is a great positive. That is a great positive because, in general, <coughs> people with high scores in this area will be caring and willing to help fellow team members if a problem should arise. The only thing about being high in this category is to be sure to not too quickly jump on the bandwagon. Tied for first, I am also equally high in openness. This means that I will always be open to new ideas and not as quick to fall into groupthink. This could be a great positive for the team, but we will just have to be mindful of how much time we spend in the storming phase looking at new ideas. The only other trait of the Big Five that I get a high score in is conscientiousness with 3.9. A person with a high score in conscientiousness brings several positives to the table. A person who possesses this will be very thorough and will always make their best efforts to meet the goals that they or their group establish. My main job being a group member with a high score in this is to take the lead in keeping the team's focus on the goal. The two that could be considered my weaknesses would be stability and extroversion with rankings of 3.4 and 3.0 respectively. A moderate score in stability means that I sometimes get upset but I'm generally calm. I need to be mindful that being weak in this area makes me predisposed to becoming irritated with other group members. If I'm to get frustrated in group situations, I need to look at the issue and seek out possible solutions. My lowest score is extroversion, meaning that I enjoy the company of others but that I equally value my alone time. With a moderate score and extroversion I have the unique advantage of being able to be an effective team member as well as an individual contributor. The type A and type B personalities are the two blanket personality prescriptions that describe generally whether a person is uptight or a laid back and easygoing person. Type A personalities are said to be much more tightly, tightly wound than type B's and more driven by stress. Type B personality types are frowned upon by some because they feel they lack a sense of urgency and motivation. They can be seen as apathetic and disengaged by their type B counterparts. And type B personalities are not always negative. Type B's have the ability to roll with the punches and not be excessively stressed out by circumstances. When I took the personality type inventory, I scored a 41, which ranks me on the high end of the type B personality types, but still not considered a type A. For me, this might mean that I'm more laid back most of the time, but when it comes down to crunch time, I can thrive on stress rather than recoil from it. I believe that I bring some unique skills and talents to our team that will hopefully result in a high quality product and a high grade. Jake, you guys all know that. I want to start you off with a fact that 90% uh, of animals said that they can do a better job in the workplace than humans. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so um, what I'm going to talk to you guys about <laughs> is um, just what I bring to the group. Um, 
what I did, got on the personality tests and how it, you know, it's going to affect our group and how I can help out. So, uh, going to the first test, um, I scored a 38 in the type A, type B analysis, which means I'm type A, but I'm towards the middle, so I have a little bit of type B in me. It means I'm competitive, um, but it also means I'm very relaxed about things and I don't get as stressed, I guess. Um, an example, I was when I used to play basketball in high school, um, I would, uh, you know, I always try to win. I would never want to lose. I'm very competitive in that aspect, but at the same time, um, I was very calm during the game. I wasn't edgy, jumpy. I wasn't making stupid decisions because um, I had too much energy. It's just very calm about it. Um, another example is uh, at work. Um, sometimes, you know, no one's perfect to work. When I do something wrong, I would uh, get yelled at, but I wouldn't let it, you know, get to my head. I wouldn't get stressed out. You know, this shows my type B of being relaxed um, and just, you know, making sense of the situation and just getting it right. And it was also the competitiveness in me from type A uh, that just made me strive to do things right. Uh, so another test um, is the openness. Uh, openness is a big part of me. You guys all know I'm a very open person. Uh, besides agreeableness, openness, was, openness to experience was the highest score for the Team Helper quiz for me. Um, I have no problem saying it like it is. Um, in my classes, uh, you know, well, I mean, I guess this is in high school, but, you know, this happened a couple times in college. If I'm not going to a class, I'm just telling the teacher, hey, you know, like, for instance, I had an exam that I had to prepare for, and um, there's a class in between it, so I just emailed the prof professor saying, hey, honestly, um, I got a big exam. I need to take this time during class and take it to study because I really am worried about it. And a lot of professors actually prefer the honesty. And, uh, you know, I'll be the same with you guys. I'll be honest to you guys. And if I'm waiting to the last minute on things, uh, which is one of my weaknesses, I kind of have a procrastination problem. But I'll be honest and say if that happens, I'll tell you guys about it. I'm not going to just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I have it done, I have it done, when it's, you know, do the night before. But, you know, also that's something I need to improve on just because um, I really need to get a good grade in this class and because of that I'll make sure to be on top of things. Um, another example of my openness um, was, you know, group projects. If someone wasn't doing their part, I just came out and talked to them about it. You wouldn't just, like, uh, hide it or um, not tell people about it. I would just go to the person and say, hey, you need to be more involved, um, you need to get your stuff done, get it on time, stuff like that. That happened last quarter and uh, being open about it was a lot nicer. Um, my third thing, uh, or third test that I'm going off of is uh, the Myers-Briggs typology. And uh, I scored 89% in extroverted, which means I thrive off of other people's energy and I'm very outgoing. So. Um, example was half time, at halftime of a soccer game in high school. We were down three to zero, and my coach gave us an energetic speech just like to pump us up for the second half. And within five minutes of the second half, I scored a goal, and we ended up winning 11 to three, just because we were really mad that we were down so much. But and, you know, just giving thriving off of others, giving that energy. Um, so if you guys have energy during this, you know, if you guys want to get it done as fast as possible, you know, I'm on board for sure. I'm not gonna be the guy that just hangs around. Um, another example is in high school, we had a group project that, it was me and my friend, and it was assigned for the entire semester. Uh, and we had all the materials to do it. So we did it within the first two weeks of school. And when finals came, everyone was stressed about it, and we were already done. 